Tarawa Doom Commander. Our forward base has been established. The foolish Terrans continue to bring their forces to this platform. They will serve only to feed the Zerg Swarm if we do not destroy them quickly. We're now going to show you a demo of StarCraft II. Before we begin today, I'd like to remind everybody this is a demo. This is still work in progress. We've got a lot of balance work ahead of us. Nothing you're going to see here today is final. We're going to begin today with these Protoss Zealots. This is a classic unit from the original StarCraft. You can see they're still armed with their powerful side blades, and they're still protected by a very tough personal body shield. By your will, Kassad Templari. In StarCraft II, the Zealots also have a special charge ability. This allows the Zealot to close quickly with his enemies. The Zealot's charge makes him extremely dangerous against ranged defenders like these Marines. Attention, Protoss! This is Admiral Gascaville of the Terran Dominion. You will withdraw immediately, or be annihilated. Terrans are bringing in their siege tanks. This is a classic unit from the original StarCraft, and they're in a classic Terran position, using that high ground against us. They're shelling our zealots from range, forcing our zealots to go the long way around, and you can see our infantry are just taking a pounding as they try to approach this Terran position. They just can't withstand all of that heavy Terran firepower. In order to attack a Terran position like this, that's so well defended, we're gonna to need to bring in another new Protoss weapon of war. After the destruction of Ire and the events of Brood War, the Protoss have been forced to adapt. They created these, these are the Immortals. They have a special type of Protoss shield. It's a hardened shield that activates only when the Immortal is struck by a very powerful attack. You can see the hardened shields are activating now, and they're absorbing most of this Terran fire. This makes the Immortal the perfect choice to assault this kind of defended Terran position. Terrans are sending in their Reapers. This infantry unit is armed with two pistols and uses a jump pack to avoid different types of terrain. Their small pistols don't activate the hardened shields of the Immortals. This makes the Reaper the perfect choice for countering these powerful Protoss troops. This kind of fast, bloody raid something the Reapers really excel at. You can see how powerful they can really be hunting down slow-moving units on the field of battle. In addition, the Reapers can use their jump packs to be very effective base raiders. Once enemy forces are inside a Protoss base, one of the first things we'll often go for is our pylons. And with our pylon down, our photon cannons go offline, making us vulnerable to continued attack. Fortunately, we have some new weapons. The Protoss can use the Phase Prism to create a power field anywhere they wish. You can see with our Photon Cannons back online, these Reapers have no choice but to run for cover. 